need a breather. Why is you looking like that? <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Shay um, and my very confused dog. I don't know what's going on with that. But um, funny thing, um, my mic had broke. Bruh. I don't know if y'all realize it or not, but I did have um, a detachable mic because the audio on my phone is just that jack the jack on up. So um, it broke, the clip broke. So I literally look like I'm doing Channel 7 News. So um, forgive me if y'all see like a little black thing go up and down. I mean, I don't have that much upper body strength. So, you know, so let's get into the video. So um, I'm not sure if y'all remember from the last video or whatever. Um, I when I was doing my makeup tutorial in here and I don't know why my room looks like it's on a slope, but it's making me a little uncomfortable over here. And I'm never in the center of my camera welcome to my channel so basically long story short is that I um, when I was doing my makeup tutorial or whatever like um, I zoomed in and I'm not sure if y'all could see it or not but I had very very textured skin I have very very textured acne I figured out what it was I figured out what it was and it was actually fungal acne like I had whole ass fungal acne on my skin like oh my fucking god like I've never ever 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 have fungal acne I've broken out in hives when I used to dye my hair that's a totally different story but I've never in my life had fungal acne um who is she she don't live here she don't even have her male son here no more that kind of situation so I was like oh my fuck like what do I do um as y'all can see my skin is still trying to work itself out but I did want to um share with y'all how I did clear up my fungal acne I'm not sure if y'all can see but girl my forehead is a lot more clearer than what it was um i still have my dark marks um i very stubbornly like a scorpio pop my pimples so that's another story in itself so i'm not going to really elaborate so much on my dark marks i am working on it um i can put the product of what i use um below in the description but um i'm not sure if y'all could tell but um literally in my other videos i um I had whole fungal acne it was starting to spread to my chest and my arms and i was like oh my fucking god like it's really about to be a whole um mutant situation but i was able to fix it i was able to actually resolve it uh, my skin a uh, little backstory about my skin my skin is very sensitive um as y'all know i don't wear makeup like that so i have to be on point with my skin I try to make my skin a priority over just covering my blemishes so there's that on that I have very oily skin um, I just clean my face so it's not gonna really tell but um, come the mid-afternoon Sun that glisten is there so I have very oily skin um, I have very oily sensitive skin look at that oxymoron and a lot of stuff I cannot wear I don't wear a lot of foundation because um, my skin color it's very warm it has very yellow ish undertones and anything can make me look ashy or gray or even orange so I kind of just never made makeup a priority I only do makeup seldomly and most of the time I do eyebrows and lashes I try to keep it to that for me you know makeup is whatever you want to make it but for me I don't make it a priority so with all that being said um, when I found out that I had fungal acne, um, I didn't go to a dermatologist. I really just did my homework on the texture, the appearance, and it would just flare up. At first, I thought it was eczema because um, the way that it was breaking out resembled eczema. But um, when it went away, then it came back, then it went away, and then it came back, um, I had a feeling that was eczema. but this was still a problem this was starting to spread i was getting really scared so um keep in mind the products that i use work for me y'all can use these products at your own discretion if something happens to you girl at your own discretion don't discreet your bullshit over here because it worked for me i'm not sure if it'll work for you but i will share what helped me really 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 get that fungal the at least the fungal acne under control so 
girl when i um i've been using well not really been using i've kind of branched off from the products that i was using since i first got my period um my mom is a very very strong believer and if it ain't broke don't fix it and you y'all are already know it's yugi so um my mom is a very strong advocate with if it ain't broke don't fix it so um when i was growing up we were using Neutrogena and we were using Noxzema. Neutrogena, Noxzema, no Neutrogena, Noxzema. Try to say that three times fast. So I honestly just went back to the basics. Before I was using that, I was using um, Cetaphil. I was using Cetaphil Sensitive Skin Cleanser. It was foaming, but it wasn't foaming that much, especially with my oily skin. My skin can take a punch as far as cleansing goes because girl, as soon as I cleanse, my skin starts shining back up already so um ignore that that's not oil that's makeup but uh what i did use i used the neutrogena um deep clean facial cleanser as y'all can see i do put cysts to work um usually what i did when i went back to the basics especially with this fungal acne situation i um cleansed my face two to three times and i would just lather up you know one minute each and I would do that three to four times just to make sure that I got everything now as far as my body goes I still have the scars or whatever but I can't you know I'm working with the best of that with um, my body I used um, Neutrogena acne cleanser I should have brought it with me but I'll put a link of it below in the description I um, used the Neutrogena acne cleanser with salicylic acid y'all and when I tell y'all salicylic acid is that girl when it comes to acne I think Yugi thinks I'm calling him but I'm sorry fool <laughs> so um, I focused a lot on getting products with salicylic acid because that is um, known for fighting acne I will put a general explanation of what salicylic acid does what it um, what it can do and where it's found but I use a lot of products with salicylic acid I think with the deep cleaning cleanser it doesn't say how much salicylic acid is in it but when you look it up it does show the percentage on the website I believe and with the body wash it had one two percent salicylic salicylic acid acid Jesus um, so I was using that on my body I, at least I was using that in an exfoliant or the really like girl the strong exfoliant not that powder puff shit get me something with bristles because we going to work and I know probably there's gonna be some people that are like oh you were too rough on your skin nah, 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 nah. like I said it worked for me it got rid of the problem um, so yeah there's that on that so um, Neutrogena deep cleaning cleanser has a great foam um, it's oil free which is great for people with oily skin it's alcohol free which again is great for people with oily skin and with the acne on my face I really didn't want to irritate my skin further um, basic inst instructions wet face pump in the hands work in the lather rub 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 wipe it off girl and the next product I used um, the Walmart version of the sea breeze astringent my mom actually uses the actual sea breeze she swears by the actual sea breeze and the main thing that I was looking for in this um, astringent was deep cleaning we are getting into the pores we are getting to the root of the problem so I use the astringent then because again you know I cleanse my face two three times my skin is like not stripped but she's out and open her legs are wide open anybody could see so me when especially when I get in my nose area my nose area tends to get really red so when I did do the astringent I would go over it with this rose petal rose water facial toner so the rose water facial toner it has hydrating hyaluric acid if y'all watch my korean skincare videos y'all know they love them some fucking moisture they love them some hyaluric acid they love them some vitamin c you know i swear by hyaluric acid a lot of my products that i use on a regular routine we were kind of like in crisis mode right now so i switched up the products but um a lot of my products do have hyaluric acid 
very hydrating very youthful like brings out your face again you know my goal is to look I'm 26 now my goal is to look as 19 as possible and let's see how far I can take it so yeah rose water facial cleanser it's kind of like the you know the very passive aunt who gives you food to calm you down and put you in front of your favorite shows the astringent is like yo um very southern grandma who has a switch named after herself look at that that she's never thrown away and if she catches you try to throw it away that's your ass that kind of situation so we have the cleansing we have the toning we have the toner astringent whatever now this i really 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 feel like this specific product really really fucking saved my skin and this is the Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar now I know there's a lot of skepticism on apple cider vinegar as far as putting it on your face but the gag of it all girl is if someone's telling you to put just straight out the bottle apple cider vinegar on your face don't listen to them don't be friends with them don't even take their weather advice like you need to dilute this you literally need to dilute this when you drink this you have to dilute it when you put it in your facial mask you have to dilute it so what makes you think using this as a toner girl let me just put my finger in the bottle and put it on my face no that does no that is not how it works so with the apple cider vinegar i would put it all over my fungal acne first then i would just even it out you know smooth out my skin i know there's a lot of people who use the aztec healing clay um facial whatever facial thing i personally don't like to use that because the a lot of those ingredients are allegedly linked to carcinogenic products and your girl ain't trying to get skin cancer at all you know melanin is melanin but melanin can still get cancer so there's that on that um so i use the um, Bragg's apple cider vinegar both on my face and on my chest and on my arms you know it started to seep into my neck going down into my chest going into my arms and you know on top of the, the hygienic part like changing my rags and changing my towels hanging them out to dry properly you know I was in full-on you know let's get this shit together mode so yeah um, after I uh, put the Bragg's apple cider vinegar and I keep bringing it up because you want it to have with the mother you want that because there's a lot of um, other brands that are apple cider vinegar but me I've used the others I always come back to Bragg and that's that on that period period point blank boo so after um, I put the apple cider vinegar on my face I let it sit for like a minute you know with this with the stinging and you know all of that discomfortness I've always um, growing up my grandma has always used apple cider vinegar for home remedies and usually when something is in fact infected dirty or irritated it is going to sting so it's not nothing that was new to me maybe uncomfortable for you but it's not it wasn't a new feeling for me um, after all that is said and done I go in with my Vitsy Daily Face Serum. Um, the brand, honestly, I got this brand at TJ Maxx, but it's it's Radiance Labs. Hey girl, sponsor me. But it is Radiance Labs. It's a botanical based skincare. I got it at TJ Maxx and it was um, about $6. But look how much is in there and look how like, look how much is actually in there. Get your money's worth so with all of that i use this and i um actually it says two three drops girl i don't i don't follow that i hear here 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 smear it down smear it down rub it in another layer another layer another layer another layer and then i smear it down and then i let it sit so when all of that is done and over with i um finalize everything especially i did this i use this product primarily at night because you know girl who's gonna put this on and go go to Walmart not me uh, again I use the Walmart brand hydrocortisone anti-itch cream because um, 
I really just love cortisone. If I don't use this, I use cortisone, but you know, hydrocortisone is hydrocortisone. So I use the 1% cortisone anti-itch cream with soothing aloe. I will put this literally all over my face. I will put it over my neck. I will put it in my problem areas. And then I will want to say like within, within a day, the itching stop because um, when fungus, when you scratch it, scratch it, scratch it, um, it actually inflames it and causes you to itch it more. But um, as y'all can see in my other video, when I said I was using colloidal oatmeal, girl, I was using colloidal oatmeal like it was going out of style. And that shit does not work for me. I'm not going to say it didn't work. It didn't work for me. So I used colloidal oatmeal and it didn't work. So I went back, honestly, to the basics. Noxzema, uh, sea breeze or the sea breeze knockoff rose petal toner this is new i ain't had this back in the 90s girl but you know i use this you can get this at like ulta you can get this on amazon girl I, when i tell you i was so damn mad that i bought this at ulta then i went down the road to tj maxx they had a bigger bottle for cheaper girl whatever um a lot of these a lot of times that i've realized growing up like a lot of these products do go a long way so I don't really care for the super big bottles because I'm not trying to have the same product in my pantry for two, three years. You know, stuff expires, you know, especially products, liquids. Do you want old water on your face? No. So I try to get the most use out of what I have. And that's that on that. But, you know, as y'all can see, <coughs> goddamn people, you know. So as y'all can see, my face is not as textured. Um, as far as my dark marks do go, you know, that's just me popping pimples. That's just, you know, me being stubborn. And these are really not, they're not acne marks. They're just, you know, me just busting the damn pimple. I'm pretty sure if I would have let it just do its own thing, I wouldn't have the scars. But you know aesthetics the new generation we have to be beautiful all the time <sighs> right so yeah this is my video on saying how I fixed my fungal acne um, I hope it helps somebody um, you know I really know what it is to really care about your skin really want the best my mom really has been on the same routine and she looks fucking amazing um, I try to follow that. I implemented a lot of Korean Asian skincare in my routine because they do emphasize on like green tea, hyaluric acid, snail mucus, all of this stuff to actually make you look younger. And you know, besides the fact of, oh, there go my mic. Besides the fact of like diet and exercise, you know, you can always combat the elements as far as where you stay to not accelerate the aging process. So that's what I do. I live in a very hot place. You know, I need that moisture. I need that sunscreen. I need that extra, like, oomph. So, yeah, girl, that is what is. And I hope y'all found this helpful. This is pretty fucking long. But, you know, I got down to the nitty gritty of it instead of just having fancy animations and music back to back to back to back. So, yeah. Bye, y'all.